Hi, welcome to another episode of Super Crate Box and the operating system and we'll be checking out this game some more. So I gotta keep trying this level. Hope that I finally managed to reach the the six I mean the ten, ten crates. And here we go. So, just getting back into the groove, I already messed that one up. Oh, that's cool, I float with that. I, I didn't realize that last time that, that I used that weapon. Okay, and that's, that's that one, I couldn't get up there. I hate this weapon. Like, the, the, this weapon isn't very, very good for for any type of run because it it'll just shoot you back whenever you're trying to get up uh, on the next ledge. You yeah, have to get back onto. Ah, oh, so close, I almost got back over the... that jump. Oops. Wasn't expecting that one. Okay, let, let's get... Guys, I get shot. I okay, didn't see what killed me there, but that's fine. <laughs> and I just exploded with the enemy there. Okay, so, I have to get back into the group of getting these boxes a bit quicker. Okay. Not sure how I'll get up there. That was a pretty hard box to get. Okay, let's get a fun man here. Okay. Ah, I I was trying to to get across. Oh, he, pull, he pulls straight down, he's, he's not like the other guys that just have a small jump there. Okay, so the crate is over there. Okay. That's a risky maneuver on my part. You never know where, in what direction they're gonna fall. I got grabbed there. I'm sorry that I'm not being able to to focus and also talk at the same time. Pretty intense game. It requires a lot of focusing on on all the sides of what's going on. Okay, we got three here. And back to zero. One. The most dangerous weapon in the game. It kills you back. It's, it's a very good weapon, but it requires uh, the ability to, to dodge the blade back. Okay. 
fine, I got an opening, and there we go. Yeah, I got trapped down there, didn't have enough, uh, enough shooting power to kill it, kill all of those at, this, at one go. So now I have a katana, useful for cutting bamboos and fans. Oh, that's cool. It's, although it's melee range, it's a pretty cool addition. Okay, there we go. And then I didn't think he'll he would catch me there. <laughs> I overextended there. Yeah, the katana might be pretty cool to use, but it's, since it's melee range, it it has its uh, pro little problems. Ah, I, I thought I would get away with that one. Nope, didn't yeah, get get through it. So So it looks like I need two shotgun shells to, to kill the big guys. I like the <laughs> this start. It. Yeah, that that was a pretty nice start for the game to give me. Okay. Gonna just blow that little guy. <laughs> yeah, well, that was kind of hard to dodge since it was two of them at the same time. And I just forgot to dodge that one. Oops. Uh, I'm sorry that I'm, I'm not talking at the same time. Okay, so... I think that's my opening. And I messed up. And the hardest weapon to control. Okay, there we go. And I'm being really horrible with the with the dialogue this episode. So yeah, uh, I'm thinking that this will be the last code for this game since it's although it's fun and all, it's kind of not very repetitive and doesn't really have much to do other than unlock every weapon and and beat these monsters. So yeah, this will be the last code for this. It was fun playing it. It's... Yeah, it has potential for more, but but I I don't see this game going much farther than what I've done.
But yeah, I'm gonna. This will be the last episode. I'm gonna replace it with with something that might have a bit more story. And hopefully, it's, it'll be just as good or or better. There's a lot of enemies there. Ah, <laughs> uh, I thought I, I would have the opening, but no. That weapon is really badly assigned, it, since it doesn't do anything. Ah, I, for I forgot that that's the display. So, here we go. And got the worst weapon in the game. Well, actually, it's the second worst. It's that one barely does anything. I wonder, can I, can I fly over the hole with that? Oh, cool. I Uh, that's a cool weapon, but it, it needs time to to set up properly. Which it's not something that this game gives you much of. Okay, there we go. I wonder if the ghosts are like fallen versions of the of the ones that I've killed. Just like there's some that are are the versions that that have gone into the fire. Okay, got them to eight, and that's that's the best run I've had so far. That was a cool interaction, but can't stay alive after that. I find it funny that that they just uh, turn around once I stabbed them with the katana. I forgot that when, when I'm burning the ground, I cannot jump. And that's it. Okay, here we go. And jumped into the enemy by mistake. Okay, got two. That's a hard box to get. Yeah. When they put the first box up there, it's kind of uh, hard since you don't really have any weapon to be helping you out. Okay, there we go. I didn't see that that, that guy had, was burning. Okay. Okay. Oh, I thought I would get the get him with the katana there. Okay, let's go. He has some mines. Okay, 
There we go. Ah, uh, messed that one up. Uh, I thought that that was a, a a regular gun, not not the not the uh, grenade launcher. Whoops. Yeah. The faces on this game are kind of wonky, but still, but they work for this game. There we go. Ah. Uh, no. I have to clear the screen again. Yeah, that's it's kind of hard to use that weapon. It, it, especially since since you're moving back at such such a huge speed, it it's really hard to like, control it. Okay, and good and jump up. Oh well. I got like, a bit desperate there. I I could have waited. You use the the bazooka there to to help me out. I mean the the mine. Okay. Not not sure what I was trying to do there. It obviously didn't work. go okay, so that's let's see my chin gun shotgun so the shotgun actually uh, knocks you back but it's not not enough to to worry about much about it one thing I I'm I don't enjoy of the game is is the delayed jump it does you're never sure when you can jump and when it's and, and when it, when it's on on cooldown. Cause I keep falling on the on the one on the bottom, uh, on the on the hole at the bottom. And and like I I try to time it properly so that I. I can get over it. Okay, this is the grenade punch. Okay, so seeing this a bit in action, I can see that if if I manage to hit something with it, it'll it automatically explode. But it's still kind of hard to use. A laser rifle. Okay. So it's a, a slow blast and then it goes through. Okay, that, that's an interesting weapon to try out. Yeah, that, now that I've given this game a bit of time, I finally can get to the top floor, but still not not easy. Okay, if the if this game had a better pur purpose, it would be a, a lot better, because then you would have like. You would go through the game and try to to defeat bosses and stuff, but so far, by by the looks of it, it's just endless mobs that will try to kill you, and often succeed because they are endless. And Okay. 
that was a close call. So. Gonna jump over. Ah, so close. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna call call the game here, and I'm gonna. This is the last episode for for this, and I'm glad that you're watching, and that, and if you enjoyed, like and subscribe. I'm gonna look for another game. I think I'm gonna be playing the extent Expander Bros. Just to try and keep this the same style going but I'm not I'm not sure how that game works so I'm gonna check it out and hopefully it's as fun as this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.